got a rally going on. I hope it's people from the podium short. Good job giving some attention to the other speakers that are speaking. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Don, get up there so you can get your yeah, I think we're going to hang along after the table. I'm going to have to get a contact and wait to get over. I'll have to get a I never answer my phone. I never answer my phone. She handles everything. I pretty much show up where they tell me when they tell me. Do you have a question? Yeah. Oh, hey. Is Anna here today? No, she can't wait. She sleeps right now. Do you have a message for any of those family members who are still wanting the death penalty to take place of the victims of those? I would just say to the family members, I understand your pain, but I'm not, I don't want to negate it in any way. I'm not trying to simplify it or, or make it less than it is. I can't even imagine what you're going through. I understand your your desire for closure. I'm just I just want to say gently just keep in mind that sometimes whenever we do a rush to judgment like this, innocent people end up being killed also. And that won't help anyone. Innocent people being put to death by the state will not help anyone achieve a sense of closure. And that's all I would say, just that my heart is with you. I understand what you're going through. But I hope that you can maybe reach within yourselves and find the strength to let logic and reason prevail over that need for vengeance. That's all. Do you believe the people that the, the eight death row inmates are innocent? Not all of them, no. You know, some of them are extremely mentally ill. You know, there's two of them. Uh, for example, Bruce Ward, who was one of the first ones to be executed. He used to watch the news for hours a day. But he wasn't watching the news. He was watching the old time and temperature read out the corner of the screen because he was convinced that the media was sending him secret messages through the time and temperature. Uh, you have one of the guys named Nooner who is also going to be executed. He, at one point, filed paperwork on me in the prison. He said that my mother was coming into the prison and raping him in an attempt to get him pregnant. And he believed it with his whole heart. You know, you have people that aren't even close to being sane in there, that aren't connected to reality in any sort of way, and they're being put to death when in all actuality they should probably be in mental institutions. How are you feeling being here? Scared to death right now, honestly. Um, I, I, I could not have done this without the people that are here with me. It would have been too hard. For, for two weeks, whenever they reached out to me and asked if I would come speak, um, my first thought was no. I can't do this. I can't go back. I can't do this. And then it was one of those things where I realized I've got to do this. You know, I can't go through the rest of my life knowing I didn't raise a hand to try to help people. I didn't raise a hand to try to help people who were um, dying. But I would, even then I would go back and forth. I would say, okay, we're going to do this. But then I would wake up in the night having another panic attack. And uh, I would tell Lori, I can't. I can't go back. And I would go back and forth like that over and over until Johnny said he would come, until... Joe said he would come, and then I thought, okay, well, I've got enough support around me, I've got enough family around me that I can go and do this. But th it, there's still a lot of fear. There is an incredible amount of fear for me for being back in the state, and I don't want to fear that. You know, that was another reason I, I wanted to come back, is maybe hopefully this will allow me to get over some of the fear that sort of, you know, this is where I was born. And, and when this happened to me, it sort of stole home from me. It took my home away from me. So maybe hopefully this will bring, you know, some sense of closure and resolve for that. And I won't feel the sense of fear and trauma when I think of Arkansas. Do you think?